Our top story this afternoon, reacting to the allegations against APSA in the leaked PP report, Kosatu has called for nationalism of the Reserve Bank. The Labour Federation has questioned the role of Saab, saying it looks like it may have facilitated the siphoning of money by the private sector. Doubting the independence of the Reserve Bank, Kosatu says it seems like it is hiding the rot and insulating banks from scrutiny. Kosatu has also demanded a commission of inquiry into the alleged apartheid era looting by APSA, calling for a commission of inquiry into the matter. Kosatu seeks a wider probe into other illegal transactions that may have occurred prior to 1994 elections. Kosatu says the allegations that the government might have overlooked recovering monies from APSA are troubling. We, we are worried that uh, uh, it took uh, an investigation by the public protector for this issue really to be uh, uh, to be taken seriously. Uh, the question that has to be raised here is uh, who are the guardians of the public press? Uh, who is looking after the interest of South Africans? Uh, we have a treasury that, that uh, doesn't seem really to, to be interested uh, in representing the interest of, of, the, of the people. And we have a private reserve bank. Uh, and uh, when you look at some of the issues uh, that have uh, come out of this leaked report, they point to the fact that uh, we cannot continue to trust this Reserve Bank to really act in the interest of South Africa. And meanwhile, others too are calling for APSA to pay back the money. The South African Communist Party has called for a full investigation into the alleged looting of state coffers during the apartheid era. They say the money should be recovered and used for developmental purposes. The Nkata Freedom Party also seeks a probe into undue benefits allegedly received by APSA. They say any undue benefits must be repatriated to state coffers. Parliament, through the Standing Committee on Public Accounts, seeks to call uh, cooperation rather with the public protector in getting to the bottom of this rot. They also want other similar scams to be investigated. APSA must uh, pay back the money, but it must also pay back the money with interest and the money must be used for developmental purposes. The National Treasury has to make an assessment of where the money can best be utilized, uh, given the number of uh, priorities that uh, we have uh, to satisfy as a nation. And of course, this involves the consultation with Parliament. It requires the budget speech processes. At the outset, we want to say that the leak of the report is, of course, very unfortunate uh, because it compromises the due processes which need to be followed by the Office of the Public Protector and such investigations. And whilst the matter may now be in the public domain, it cannot be condoned that um, the processes of the Public Protector are undermined by leaks um, because then that speaks to the integrity of the Office excuse me, and speaks to the integrity um, of the content of, um, of, the, of the report. But having said that, um, we do want to say as the IFT that um, the findings as alleged in the report are of a serious nature and of a serious concern and ones which need to be investigated further. So we appreciate the fact that um, APSA will be making representations, further representations to the public protector and that is an extension of the deadline.